Hello everyone, Mike here, and I'll do a quick comparison of the 2012 MacBook Pro, and we have the brand new 16-inch MacBook Pro. So, I tested a 13-inch, it was a 2019 in a previous video, and I compared it to the 2012. So I ended up not liking that 13-inch, and I'm glad I returned it, and I got the 16-inch because this thing is better in every way. Um, as you can see, the quick screen comparison, it's a lot bigger. This does have the true tone going on. You can see picture quality there compared to, I mean, after I used the 16 inch, I was like, oh, this, this picture looks like it's blue. Um, but like I said, it's just true tone enabled. I initially didn't like true tone, but I, I definitely like it now. I like how it adjusts colors based on um, the environment that you're in. So if I do a quick speed test here, right, and do this one. I mean, look how much faster this one is. And I got another uh, 2019, I think it was like around here, but this one is a lot faster. And obviously it's destroying this one. But I mean, it's from 2012, so it's still holding up pretty good. But as you can see, the performance, even on the base level, i7 500 gigs i mean it's crazy fast so the performance and power obviously is going to be better in the new 16 inch macbook pro even though this thing holds up pretty good for being as old as it is um there are things that i do like better about the 2012 this is more sturdy and reliable the keys are clicky um this is an upgraded keyboard so not the butterfly switch that they had before so that's been upgraded. The speaker's been upgraded. The one thing that's kind of pathetic is they have 720p camera. I mean, they upgraded the microphone and they say it's studio quality, but they're gonna give us a, a 720p uh, camera on the front. So that's unacceptable. Um, face ID would have been nice, but we do have the touch ID to unlock the computer there. Um, but I do like that this, is a little bit thicker, so it's like more reliable, and it's pretty sturdy. With the last one that I got, the performance, even though it was a 2019, it wasn't as good, but then it was like really thin, and I personally didn't like that. I don't need it to be thin and, and light, just for portability. I'd rather have something a little bit thicker that's more reliable. So that's just my personal preference. So I do like the touch bar. I would have liked it better if it was bigger. This trackpad is way too big. And I hate trackpads, and I could get rid of them if I could. I don't really know who uses them. Uh, if you can use them, then good for you. But right-clicking is such a pain, dragging things. I don't know why you would want um, to use a trackpad. But it's way too big, so they should have made the Touch ID a lot bigger. And sometimes, like, the Touch ID, will it'll change based on what you're doing. And if I'm playing music, sometimes I wish it wouldn't change which I haven't messed around with it. I know you can create shortcuts, but I haven't done that. Also, I missed the little things like the Apple lit up logo on the back, you can see. Um, I mean, I don't know why they would get rid of that. And then also I have to plug in the charger, not to mention I have to have the dongle to charge this um, based off of, cause I use the wireless mouse and I mean, I don't have the magic mouse, which I, I've got a Bluetooth mouse now, so I don't have to plug it in. But also when you charge it, you have to plug it into that little port, which is annoying, right? With this one, all I'd have to do is just put the magnet near it and it would hop on there very quickly and I wouldn't really have to look. And it, it would light up and it's nice when you're kind of in the dark, you don't have to really like worry about it as much. But this, you have to like basically look at it and I mean, little things like that. I don't, if it, if it takes me five seconds longer, that's enough to annoy me. So certain things I still like better about the 2012 MacBook Pro. I mean, obviously if you look at the bezels, crazy, like a lot bigger, but even though these could have been a little bit slimmer, would have been nice, especially on the top, would have been nice if they could have been a little bit slimmer for those bezels. But overall, um, also, I want to say about the, the battery on here. 
they are advertising up to, let's see, 11 hours, which is a joke. I don't even get close to that. I would say I'm the type of person that has a lot of tabs open. I use Chrome and I have a lot of tabs open at a time. So it, it's obviously dependent on what type of task you're, you're doing. But for me, I'm lucky if I get two hours out of it. So it definitely, right now it's at 83%. Right? It definitely doesn't get 11 hours, not even close to that. So the battery is not as good as advertised, but I personally don't care as much about that. Um, it would have been nice in this day and age. We had the Face ID. We need a better camera, right? And then also wireless charging. Our phones have wireless charging and Face ID. So our computer, it would be nice if we could just put this on a, a pad like we do our phones, wireless pad deal, air power for our computers. But that would have been nice. Because uh, I, I, once you upgrade and you don't have to plug in your phone to charge it, you can't really go back to plugging in your phone because it's just so much more convenient just to put it on the thing. So performance wise, this thing is a beast, even at the base level. I definitely think it's a good deal. Um, if you're in the market for that type of computer, uh, it is a lot of money, but you get a, upgraded. Uh, not, it's the same processor and everything, but it, it's supposed to perform better based on the new cooling system and all that, which it does. Right, but upgraded um, slimmer bezels, a 16 inch, upgraded keyboard, upgraded microphone, or no, up, yeah, upgraded speakers as well. So the microphone, it's just the camera that wasn't upgraded. That's still 720p, which is a joke. So all of that, I think if you're in the market, it's worth it to upgrade to the 16 inch, but they definitely have some room for improvement with the 16 inch. Um, but these things tend to last long. Uh, also, I should mention that this is soldered in, so I can't actually upgrade it. Like, I can upgrade this one, upgraded the RAM, added more RAM, maxed out the RAM, and then I can change the SSD in this one. Very simple. Pop off the back, which I have videos on that as well. But this one, you can't upgrade it, which is annoying. I mean, little things like that, Apple, you annoy me. But overall... I look at it like if this thing lasts me six years plus, which it should, then I'll be happy, right? Because Apple products, my luck with them, they tend to last a long time. So knock on wood on that one. But overall, it's a good computer. Both are good computers. And if you have any questions, let me know.